Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters. Today I want to show you guys something pretty cool. Check this out. So what you were just looking at there was actually me starting my Ableton Live session, which is on my computer behind me, from my Android tablet. Now this is something that is very useful to me. This is Wi-Fi. It runs over the wireless network and I can hit record, I can mix my session, I can do all kinds of stuff right from my tablet. So the reason why I like using something like this is because my drum set is across the room and if I'm recording some drums to a song, the last thing I wanna do is have to get up, go to the computer, press record, run back to the drums, put my headphones on and hopefully start playing in time to the music. This is really impossible, so the best way to do it is to have some kind of controller that's sitting next to you that you can press record and then just start recording. And if you mess up, it's really easy to go back. You don't have to take off the headphones or anything like that. It's just a really, really convenient thing and it's very useful. I'm gonna show you guys how to set all this up and uh, get it working. But before I do, let's talk about my sponsor, which is Pure VPN. Internet privacy is a big concern these days. All these big tech companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, they all know pretty much everything about us and they track our every move online. If you want to escape being tracked, you can use a VPN provider, and VPN is basically a secure private gateway to the internet that only you have access to. You can get a monthly or yearly plan with the link down below. Just click that link and you can get set up with Pure VPN. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna switch over to my computer and I'll show you guys what you have to do to make this work. All right, so the first thing you're gonna have to do is install TouchDAW on your tablet or your phone. If you have an Android phone or tablet, uh, you can do that and it's just at the google play store now i'm using an amazon fire tablet and you can't get it through the amazon uh, app store so in order to get it on an amazon tablet you're going to have to install google play first um, there's plenty of tutorials online to show you how to do that on an amazon tablet i'm not going to go through that here uh, but do that first install google play and then you can install TouchDaw. if you want to try the demo version first they have that here as well and uh, if you like the demo version, you can purchase the full version, which is only $4.99. It's, it's very cheap and it's very worth it. So anyway, go ahead and install that. And then on your PC, you're going to have to install one of two things. One of them, and my preferred way, is to use something called uh, MNET. And then there's also RTP MIDI. Now, both of these will work, although I had a lot more luck with MNET than I did uh, with RTP MIDI. RTP MIDI uh, was really buggy for me. It wouldn't always connect. Uh, but I think some people have better luck with this one and some people have better luck with this one. It just depends on your system. But I also just like the interface on uh, MNET better and I just think it's a better program. So anyway, we're gonna go with MNET, but the concept of both is the same. So after you install this on your computer, open up the software and it's gonna look something like this and then go in and open up TouchDAW on your tablet. And what's gonna happen when you open up TouchDAW, it's going to automatically see these two uh, connections, RTP1 and RTP2. As long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network, it should automatically detect those. And then you're going to go into Ableton and let's just go into the settings here and preferences. And if we look at my MIDI link right here, under control surface, I'm gonna select Mackie control and under input, I'm going to select MIDI hub port one and output also MIDI hub port one. And I know this confuses some people. They think, you know, I should put MIDI hub two here, but that's not what you do. You do part or port one on both. And then port two is actually down here. And the reason why uh, they're separated is port two is actually for like the keyboard parts and the controller parts are on port one. But the reason why I have uh, remote selected on mine is because I'm using one of the pads on the pad controller uh, section of touch DAW to turn my click on and off. So you could do things like that as well, but I had to manually map it to that button. Anyway, a little bit uh, advanced usage there, but still um, most of the functions will come from the actual touch DAW interface. You know, that's like your mixer and all that stuff are going to be uh, in regards to the control surface. Now, all of those get mapped automatically to the Mackie control uh, script, which is already available in Ableton Live. So uh, just select Mackie control, 
And then, like I said, input and output are both MIDI, MIDI hub port one. So once you have that set up, then everything should be working. Now, one thing I want to mention too is it's really important to open these in the correct order. So when you first start your session, open up Ableton first, then open up your uh, MIDI hub uh, app here and then open up TouchDAW on your tablet, and then everything should connect the correct way. At least that's how I found it to work with mine. Um, so other than that, you know, it's it's pretty much straightforward. Now, the other app that I was talking about before, um, RTP MIDI, this one's a little bit more complicated to set up, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't like it as much, even though it's the default way that uh, TouchDAW shows, it's the default app that TouchDAW recommends you to use, but I recommend to use this one. I just think this one works better. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up and it's pretty reliable. One thing I did notice too is if for some reason you start TouchDAW on your tablet and it's not working, uh, at least on mine, the Android uh, Fire tablet, I have to re basically reboot the tablet sometimes. Not all the time. That actually happened more when I was still using RTP MIDI. But since I switched to this uh, program, it doesn't really seem to be happening anymore. So now I can just press play here and show you guys again. And you'll see that start here in a second. Well, sorry, sorry. Now, if I wanted to, I could even like adjust levels, the view things. Solo. Uh, I mean, it's a full control. You could you could fully mix on this thing if you wanted to, but that's not really what I do with it. But you could. <laughs> um, anyway. That's pretty much all for this video. I know it's kind of a short one, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, maybe some of you were wondering when you see some of my videos where I'm basically stopping and starting uh, with my phone or my tablet off to the side. Uh, that's how I'm doing it. So that's all for today's video, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload new content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And once again, thanks for watching. See you guys really soon. Later. Thank you.